Hey guys, welcome back to my LP. In the last episode, we've inverted the Stone Tower Temple, and now if you fall off, we're gonna fall down, fall down to the sky, which sounds uh, really messed up, but it's the truth right now. So there's lots to do while this temple is upside down, although there's only one way we can really go right now. Get rid of that. Use our light arrow to get rid of this. And now, look, man. You're not gonna be able to recognize half these rooms anymore. I'll tell you that right now. Oops. Give me your other bunny, but I won't need that for a while. Now, let's kind of fly around and see what trouble we can get into. Alright. There we go. Got a switch right here, it looks like. Let's go ahead and press it. And get rid of that fire. Oh, I heard that. Let's go ahead and put a body back on here. There you go. See, I told you guys I'd have this on memorized pretty quick. <laughs> Let's see. Actually, before I do that, get that sun switch before I can get a uh, feeling if I go do too many things, I'm gonna forget to get the sun switch. Now, unfortunately, the sun switch shows on my treasure chest back when it was right side up. So when we, we're gonna have to, in order to like, open up that treasure chest, we're gonna need to turn this temple right side up again, which, unfortunately, there's no way about around it. You're gonna, if you wanna get every single treasure chest in Stray Fairy, I'm afraid that's what you're gonna have to do when you get this. We're gonna need that. Okay, let's try to continue on in here. And hit the switch. And that will cause a treasure chest to appear. Ooh, nice. Now you can go in this way, but it's pretty much a dead end. Unless you want to get some money, but I'm okay right now. So let's go open it up. Key. All right, so now let's head over to this other vent and see where, where that will take us. And it looks like it's going to take us all the way up to the top. So we want to go this way. Treasure chest, and I'm actually surprised I got that first. I was like, I'm surprised I got that first try, and then I just jump right off. This game just knows when to troll me, doesn't it? Okay, we need to get rid of some of these spikes. These spikes are going to be hazard. How did I miss that? How did that not explode? Well, I got better angle at least flying over this way. In real life, you would die if that happens. In this game, you lose like 2% of your health. <laughs> Zelda logic, don't you just love that, or Nintendo logic? Okay. A better camera angle possible. There we go. And we got a straight fairy. That's a tenth one! Wow, we got two thirds of them already! We're doing really good, guys. Uh, actually, before we leave, let me just check to make sure I got them all in this room. This room looks like one. Well, actually, no, wait. Of course, we don't have all in this room because that, that one treasure chest we just unlocked, so. Never mind. Alright. We got one of these rooms. We didn't access this room back when it was right side up. So, look, we notice we have the same crest in here as I was outside the temple. Uh, tells you something, doesn't it? But well, we can invert this room too. So I'm gonna need to get the Goron out so that's why I get burnt alive. Let's go right here where it's safe. Let's fire another arrow. Turn it 
upside down again? I'm not really sure. I'm not. Re you're not really sure if just this room is turning upside down, or if the entire temple is turning upside down. Same with this room. No idea if it's the entire thing. I need to get arrows though, I need to Oh, this room. I don't like this room, to be honest. Oh, puzzle room, yeah, I work with. There we are. You don't even have to hit the red, you have to hit the yellow a little bit. And then I'll let you move it. Alright. I was halfway to the arrows, I can kind of care less about the magic. Definitely gonna be restocked on arrows by the time this is done, that's for sure. Alright, yeah, I can't see that indentation over there, we're trying to get that box to. That's the ultimate goal. Okay, we're almost there actually, so it's not terribly difficult. It's more annoying than anything else. There we are. Just yes, one couple more, actually. It one last time, hopefully. Cross our fingers. Yes. Alright. And there we go. Let's block in, and that opens up the door. However, can't quite get to the door. Well, we're gonna have to invert it a few more times here. Oh, first, we need more arrows here. Definitely made sure you have plenty of magic and arrows in this room. Of course, I like the I like the arrows, but the magic kind of care less for us. If we have our shots of Romani, and there we go. It's not a bad puzzle. Not terribly annoying. And we got this room. Another wizard robe. This one's actually probably the toughest one in the game to kill, in my opinion. We got our light arrow to do a lot of damage. Let's shoot him for wherever we're at. Alright, that's phase two. This, this phase is this really actually a little difficult. Right next to you. I think it is right next to you. That's pretty easy. Oh, there he is. And the fire in this room is super annoying too. As long as you keep your cool, you should, the wave rope shouldn't be too bad. Any other treasure chest up there? It should be the last treasure chest for this room. Make sure not to fall into the light. Don't go into the light! <laughs> oh, jeez. There's a nifty little treasure chest. You know, a gray fairy, and just continue on. There's a eleventh one. Four more to go. Ooh, we almost got them all. I'm ready for you when you decide to pop back up. Here, I don't have to, to fight you. What am I doing? I don't have to waste my time with people like you. Go to fly across. Oh. 
Alright, then we head over here, in a little bit of a maze area. We got a new monster here too, I'm not, what are they called? Um, Death Armos. Temple Guard, look at that, that red mark on his chest. I've never seen something like that before. Let's shoot it. Either. Turn him upside down, and they'll try and kill us, and they end up killing themselves. In the process. So let's run underneath them. And then um, just hit themselves in the head. It's not terribly difficult monsters, and actually, this is the only area in the entire Zelda franchise that's a monster right here. Luckily, I don't do too much damage. Really, not too many more monsters in the game or do much damage to you. You don't have to go that little easier. That on fire, I mean, there must be a switch somewhere. Ah, oh, here it is. I'm guessing I gotta leave my, uh, soul here. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, the LG of emptiness. There we are. And we got a small key. We need that wherever we're heading next. That's for sure. What are you doing in here? Alright. So now we can go right or we can go straight. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and choose to go straight because we're gonna need to go this way anyway. Let's find out. Black guy's having fun up there. I don't care. Nope, I died. <laughs> oh, fell off into uh, the sky there. Oh, that's really fun. That's fine. Let's get rid of these little nuisances. How do you get not exploding? There we go. There we are. Oh, big pot again. Can you run? If I think this might be a good time to shoot. These guys, these white bubbles or whatever, shoot them with a little light arrow. Look what they drop. 50 rubies a piece. That's a way to grind for rubies. Especially in, uh, Termina Field. Oh, hero, thank you. Especially in Termina Field. Alright, we got our second mini boss here. This one's a little bit more difficult. Double light arrow thing again. The first one to draw us that away. Okay. It can be a bit tricky though. You have to do a lot of damage too. Yeah, yeah, dang. Trying to take off the armor there. How did I not hit him? Let him get his bats back. Oh my god. Charge up! Bow and arrow, charge up. There we go. Dang, I'm not hit yet. I had three or four hits. There we are. 
basically hit him the second time when he's about to hit you. We're not too terribly difficult. And we get our reward. All those bat minions die. Open up, let's see what we got. Although it should be pretty obvious what you got. Alright, get the boss key and I get into the chamber where the boss lurks. Alright. Let's head on back out here. Ah, oh, shit. That's fine. Well, actually, I do have to be a little bit careful of my health right now. Actually, I'm running a bit on the low side. Gotta get rid of those stupid things over there first. Yeah, I watch my health. I've been a bit on my health. Once again, I have to ask how did not not hit any of you. All right. The only thing is, if you've been jinxed, you can still use like punches and stuff. Other guys, arsenal. This way this time. Uh, one of these little sinkers over here. Come on. Come on over here. Come on. I don't think little sinker. Or not. Fine. Make me lose my health. Make me lose my health. Come on. I hate this, I hate this guy, particular guy right here. Alright, let's do this, I guess. Alright, shoot the system a little bit. There we go, hit the switch. And that will put that up there. I'll take the hit, but guess what? You just hit suicide. Well, I would have preferred if you drop parts than, uh, Magic, but it's alright. Now we have access up here to this treasure chest, which unfortunately we can't open until we turn it back to normal again. It's a bit on, on the unfortunate side, but not a whole lot we can do about that. Now one of these guys again. Stay on top of the treasure chest again? Ah, oh, I ain't we're close though. Let's go open this up, and let's we'll see what we got, man. They're just getting us lots of large chests today. And we got... Giant's Mask. Then this mask will have the bite of a giant. But can you use its power anywhere? Well, you can use its power, as we will see fairly soon. And in here is the last room before the boss, but before we do that, let's go ahead and hit the switch. And now the treasure chest spawn. And that should be one of the last three fairies we get. Now, let's look at the map to try and figure out what stray fairies we're missing. And each treasure chest is a stray fairy. Uh, which room is that room? Let's kind of backtrack in here a little bit and make sure we don't miss any stray fairies anywhere. Because that would be very bad if we miss one. That means I don't, want, I don't want to turn the simple up right side or whatever any more than I have to. And jump over there a little bit at angle. Oh, shoot, really? Actually, I'm jumping straight forward, actually. I might just barely. Okay, the so chest is up there, I thought it was one. Wish we could get that. Okay, you want to drop hearts? 
I don't need magic in this game. I'm down to four and a half hearts, which is kind of the lowest amount of hearts we've been in a while. There we go. Okay, now we're back up to, uh, safe mode. <laughs> okay. And then... Uh, go through this quick. I might cut this out. I'm not sure if I'll keep this or not. I try and run through everything, make sure I'm not missing any. Oh, he went straight ahead, dummy. He's literally right over here. Uh, I can actually fly through it. Okay, I don't think it gets that high. Just up there. And the rest of them, I'm pretty sure, are, are right. If, yeah, I guess this one. So let's look right back at the map again. Uh, that was the one before the boss, the one in the main room. And that was when we had the sun. We just we had that sun that was up there. Okay, so all of them are accounted for. Now let's head back or uh, back up to the boss. We can go ahead and fight the boss now, I guess. Well, I'm just know it. Let's, let's actually turn the uh, temple right side up first before we do that. I gotta be a little better because otherwise, when you beat the boss, it'll spawn you all the way back down the bottom of the tower, and we don't really want that. Thankful. So I think this might be a good place to stop. The next video. We're going to go ahead and get the rest of the stray fairies and face the boss of the dungeon. Ooh, I can't wait. I'll see you guys then.